and just assalamu alaikum and welcome back your ninja muhammad another series uh, 3ds games so on android smartphone the latest citra mmj build so we'll be testing uh, many different games on maximum resolution using gamepads using a snapdragon 88 device all the links will be in the description watch it till the end and also be showing the settings on the end links in the description support my channel by shopping online with my links my salam enjoy guys welcome back pokemon ultra sun check this out guys uh running this game let me just select uh, maximum yeah it is 4x resolution 4x resolution that is we have fmv hack uh very weird i don't know why we have some broken uh graphics uh is this because of the I don't know, latest, uh, this is Android 12 running here with the Snapdragon 888. Previously I didn't have these bro broken graphics, so I don't know how to fix it, or maybe this is just because of the uh, latest Citra emulator, this is the Cit latest Citra MMJ version. Okay, they told me, uh, hasta la vista. The game is running amazing guys, full speed here on 4x resolution, amazing, amazing performance. You can see it by itself over here. Wow, man. 4X. Checking here, let me just check it out with the CPU and GPU uh, load. GPU load is very low, CPU is even lower. Nice, man. Nice, very, very nice. Select this dude, he's in enjoying the view. And I'm gonna go here next. Okay, guys, let's go. I'm gonna go to the first fight. Very nice. Go Roblet! Fight, fight. To be honest, I think uh, for some games, you should be uh, using Citra official version, not the MMJ version, but just for some games. For 90% of the games, uh, Citra MMJ is just way better, guys. You probably know this, and I think that already some of my subscribers already noted this, that um, for Pokemon games, you should be using the Citra official. But unfortunately, Citra Official guys doesn't have an update since 2020, 21. They completely abandoned the project, guys. Completely. And I paid for the Citra Official version. I paid them. I bought the I bought the premium version. But they abandoned the project. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna go with the next. Ha, <laughs> this is a very uh, cute Pokemon. Still running full speed. I still don't know why we have these glitches, man, with the Citra, latest Citra MMJ version. If somebody can tell us, let me know in the comment section. Okay, some boys waiting me also. This is inviting me maybe for tournament. Nothing yet. Okay. Okay, first battle, yeah? Yes, first battle. I'll just put here a single screen. I'm challenged by him. Yeah, the game is still running guys full speed. No need to test it anymore, just let's finish with this battle and that's gonna be it. Ooh, that's gonna be tough, maybe he gonna... Oh, that's gonna be very close, to be honest. But you will still have to use the secondary screen because you don't see, uh, guys, the attack options. Oh no, it's, I think I'm gonna finish him. Nothing. I... Ha! <laughs> nothing. I deflected that attack. Beautiful. Anyway guys, Redmi K40 Pro is still really great battery life, uh, amazing screen, amazing speakers, especially camera for the 350 bucks. I don't think you can find better cameras for this one. It's amazing, amazing camera guys. Uh, has a 4K, uh, beautiful 4K support. Video stability is insanely good. Anyway, great smartphone. I recommend it for you to buy it. You can buy it on AliExpress.com. Links in the description. Okay, guys, and for the end, uh, let me show you my settings, which I'm using. And of course, input binding, you need to map your gamepad, whichever gamepad you have. 
Uh, internal resolution it depends which phone you have. Of course, if you have a low end phone, 1x, 2x maximum. If you have a mid range, it can handle 2x and somehow, somewhat 3x some games. Flagship devices can handle 4x. Uh, anyway, show FPS if you want to use this, enable sh uh, hardware shader, turn, uh, turn it on to improve performance, but some 2D games have display issues, so if they have, just uh, untick it. Accurate multiplication, you can uh, put it fast, accurate, sometimes it does help, I usually turn it off. Shader type, post processing effect, you can also enable this with effects if you want to use them. Custom, uh, use of custom textures, I disabled it. Enable CPU usage limit, you can also use this when enable emulation CPU usage will be limited to a smaller time slices. Enable memory reuse turn it on to improve performance but some games may have display issues or crashing games so turn it on guys speed limit percent leave it at 100 percent and that's it guys remember to enable the cpu uh, jit yes anyway that should be it thank you for watching buying links in the description and also the download link of this simulator